Now, the CT is finally uh, coming out, you know, chronic traumatic encephalophily. Um, Dr. Ben O'Malo, his studies on, on Mike Webster's brain, Andre Waters, all these guys that died horrible deaths. Um, uh, ben and I, uh, I meet with Ben regularly now, a great guy. And, um, uh, and so we've been meeting for the last couple of years. Um, and uh, he, has, he has flat out talked to, I, I've had a number of interviews like this and they've interviewed Ben and, and he's flat out and, and told him that, you know, George shows many, many symptoms already of, of, of CTE. You know, I have, you know, at times poor judgment, you know, anger management issues, the insomnia where you don't sleep for days at a time. Um, I mean, I could go on and on and on. Um, now, the only way to ever diagnose it is to do, they'll do an autopsy and, and they'd find a tau protein buildup in the brain. Well, this is what I presented to Bennett. I told him, has anyone ever been able to test it in anyone living? He said, no. I said, what about this? What if I sign a waiver and the next time I have a brain surgery, I let you or someone else take a small sample out. They have to go in anyway and test it. And then maybe the next time I have a shunt surgery, we test it and see, are my tau pro protein levels rising? He said, George, that, that would be unbelievable. So we're looking at doing that. Now, Bennett has his own brain bank. He's the one that really discovered all this stuff. I have my, my brain donated to his. I said, have at it. <laughs> when I'm done with it, you know, have at it. But, um, uh, and it's unfortunate you have to wait for guys to die to be able to tell you, oh yeah, hey, you have this disease that's caused by your industry, you know? So, um, it, well, like I said, what if they could come up with a test for it? And like Bennett said, well, what if we could come up with something as simple as a vaccine that could reduce, that could eliminate the tau protein buildups?